Scheduling task is a very common need in enterprise applications and Spring Boot makes it easy with built-in support for scheduled jobs. In this video, I will walk you through creating a scheduled job in a Spring Boot application and show how IntelliJ IDEA can streamline that process. Let's create a new Spring Boot application. By default, the scheduling support is not enabled. So we need to add at enable scheduling annotation to enable the scheduling support. Now let us create a new job class. Now make it as a spring bean by adding at component annotation. Now we can create a scheduled job by creating a method with return type void and no arguments. Next we need to annotate this method with at scheduled annotation and we can specify at what intervals we want to run this job. We can use fixed delay or fixed rate or even more powerful option is by specifying the cron expression. So here we can specify cron equals to space and IntelliJ IDEA provides examples of various cron expressions. You can see various cron expressions and their human readable uh, descriptions. So let us go ahead with this expression, which means it runs every minute. So now if we write any logic here, let's uh, write log.info sending email notifications at and let's specify in standard now. So we are just printing a log statement here and we specified the cron expression which is nothing but uh, every minute. Okay. So now we can run our application and it should execute for every one minute. Now instead of running for every minute, let's make it as every five seconds. Okay. So as you can see, as soon as I updated the expression, it automatically updated how, uh, what it actually represents. Now our job should execute for every five seconds. Let's restart our application. Now we should be able to see the log statements for every five seconds. So here we start getting the log statements and you can see it is printing the log statements for every five seconds. Instead of hard coding the cron expression here, we can externalize that into our application properties file. So here I'm going to use sample job dot cron as key and we can use this key value and use property reference syntax to specify the cron expression. Now, as you can see, it is a IntelliJ IDEA is able to figure out the value from application properties file and then showing it will run for every five seconds. Now, if you change the cron expression here, it will automatically reflect to here also. Imagine this job is scheduled to run once in a day or once in a week and you want to verify the functionality, whether the job implementation is working fine or not. So what you can do, you can go and tweak this cron expression so that it will trigger in a few seconds and then verify your implementation and then revert back the changes. But you may accidentally forget those changes to revert back and then commit the changes to uh, your version control system. So instead of all that, IntelliJ IDEA provides you the ability to trigger jobs on demand. Like let's say I want to test this functionality right now and I can put a debugger and then click on this gutter icon to trigger this job. So here, when I try to trigger this job for the first time, it is going to ask me to enable that and I click on enable and then restart the application. Now, once I restart the application, I can trigger this job whenever I want. Let's say I want to run it now. So when I click on this, it is going to invoke this job. When I click on it again, it is going to run this job again. So this way you don't have to actually wait for the cron expression uh, to trigger when, based on the scheduled time. Instead, you can click on it and then run this job whenever you want. IntelliJ IDEA support to show cron expression in human readable format makes it easy to write cron expressions. And also the ability to trigger any jobs on demand 
makes it easy to verify the functionality also.